Hey guys, it's your girl Alicia K Geek XX Chic, and we're back with another reaction to The Walking Dead, The World Beyond. We're now in episode two, which is called, hold up, she already forgot, A Blaze of Glory. We now know that this is 10 years post-apocalypse and that these girls have basically been behind the safety of walls the entire time, which is obviously a luxury that most people don't enjoy, and we've seen that with the other Walking Dead series. It's a much different world for our four people because even though they've trained, well actually only one of them is officially trained on how to like handle a walker situation, we know from watching years of The Walking Dead now that yes, the dead are a problem, but the bigger problem is actually the living, right? The people who've survived this far, there are a handful of them that are like the Fear of the Walking Dead folks that are actually good and good-hearted and trying to do what's best. But there's also your Negans, your Alphas, your Govnas, you know, people who don't always have people's best interests at heart or who are doing things in a way that may not necessarily be what they consider to be fair or right or just, especially if they've been living in a world that's mimicked the old world so much. Without further ado, let's get into this episode, but before we do, you know the drill, guys. If you've been here before and you like what you see, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the family, that way you'll be notified when I do more reactions to this show and any others you might be interested in. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Without further ado, let's get into the episode right about now. So is this what the other sister dreams about? One dreams that she's dead, this one just relives the horrible, horrible night her mother died. Oh. You find yourself face to face with uh -oh. death. No, girl, should be a one and done. To eliminate the threat, you go straight for the brain. Thank you. Yeah, why are you? What are you doing? Why are you trying to cut his head off? Step through the eye socket is the easiest way. Eye socket, Iris. What are you doing, girl? Really? You're gonna want to take it down by sweeping out its legs. Iris! If none of that works, the last thing that you want to do wow, Iris. is tire yourself out. Why are they just standing there? She clearly does not got this, y'all. Please go help her. Leave her down there. You should be scared every single time that you are outside those walls. That's not quite the right message, but I'd say maybe using the word alert or, you know, on guard, but scared? It's not great mentality. Its physiology is so different. Really? This is the time for science? Okay. Right there in the eye. It's dead. Really? That was actually grosser than the walker, thanks. So, uh, that's what you get. Great. I mean, say what you will about them not telling anyone where they are, but also not allowing any sort of communication in or out. This is exactly what Hope said last episode. From inside. And now you can fight empties. She really can't, that was not fighting. What did you just see? Are we watching the same thing? Okay. Wait, they have their own cannery at this place? Strike. Why are y'all just here making noise? What is wrong? They picked the target. They're new. They're new. They the They're new. Just something my mom said about nature deciding who lives and who dies. Turns out she was right. The way he remembers everything that his mom said from 10 years ago. This is going to be awkward. Being a so it's real. Blaze of Gory. Oh, I thought that was Blaze they were actually looking back to where they came from. Gory? The BOG. People have been talking about it since everything fell apart. Since just now, since we've never heard about this. Totally. So can we get through it? Did you not just see her fighting the empty? Yeah. Clearly you can't. Christmas talking out of stuff like this, not the other way around. That was a long time ago. That was yesterday. <laughs> exactly. <It's funny. laughs> Iris is like, I have snapped, in case you haven't noticed. I've lost my damn mind. Keep up. Is 
She leaving like breadcrumbs to show people where she went, which actually might be smart. Is, is that a note tape? Why are you investigating? Keep walking. What happened to her? You hear that? Walkers. When did these walkers learn to creep up on people? Yes, hit it. Poke it. Okay, we got a freezer. Why'd y'all even bring the weapons if you ain't gonna use them? Bingo. <laughs> that sounded funny, but y'all need to stop making so much damn noise in the night. Yeah, what y'all think was gonna happen? He's like, I found you. You who sprayed me in the face. Yeah, you. Yeah, let's, let's big moan with me now. You're getting big mode, aren't you? Y'all, I don't know about you, but Monopoly has caused some very violent fights between family and friends in my experience. This is just not a good game. Oh, now that she knows it's his mom, she can't stop thinking about it again. Feels like her conscience might give her up. Really? You're gonna give it attitude? Cause someone tells me he's gonna find y'all again. This is gonna be like the cab the, the man with his cabbages and avatar the entire season. He's just gonna keep popping up with a red face being like, Haha, I'm still here because none of y'all will just stick me in the face. That looks like a really bad idea. Even if you're a seasoned killer. Which y'all ain't. There's no way that that camera caught that. Not with that lens. You really thought they'd just leave the door open? There's a zombie apocalypse happening. Oh. Well, alright. Where is his mother? Why is she not saying anything? Does she not have an opinion? The last one alive. The Emler. And it's their life, their death, that defines us all. Wow, this is the kid you don't bring to parties because he's going to have everybody drinking and crying. Does that bother you? Yeah, now that you put it that way, it does. Right? Blaze of Glory versus an Endling. You've totally taken all the fun out of this. I think y'all should be holding on to each other. Because you can't see. I see you think you get... Uh-oh, she's having a panic attack. Not now, not now. Breathe. Actually, I forgot that because of the smell of the tires, I may not be able to smell them. This isn't about standing How hilarious if the painted walker just showed up right now, like, ha, gotcha. Oh, we went back to his house. Oh, I didn't even make that correlation with the, I used to live around here. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to do this, boo. They locked up in there. Man, even in death, you're denied. Mm. Excuse me, my parents are not home. No visitors. Well, the idea is that whoever sounds the siren will be able to get down too. You want to send someone in as bait? No, 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 not as bait. More like bait. It's bait. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> want to bait. We all came in. We all come out. Amen. She's going against her whole black nature saying that, you know, she's on, she, in her mind, she's like, you should go. But, you know, I'm, there's people around. You have to do something big. Something crazy, something that meant something and not just... Yeah, but it. you made champagne and that's really important in the apocalypse. Ooh, her conscience the killer. Conscience the bun. 
Gotta just say the truth, nah. Ooh, look at you looking like a video game character. But will she come out? <laughs> of course she will. She's one of the main characters. No need to worry. All right, guys, that was episode two of uh, The World Beyond, which was called the um, Blaze of Glory. And now we know they were talking literal. It was not a figurative blaze of glory, literal blaze of glory, literal tire fire, which I never even thought about that. Like, I'm, I've only smelt burning tires, I think, once in my life. And like I said, burning rubber is the most um, horrific smell in the world. Like, if I was them, I would just be dry heaving repeatedly because it would smell so bad. But like I said, I, I didn't even think about the fact that the smell of the burning tires would actually offset the smell of their, like, being aliveness. So it's actually worked out to be a pretty good cover between the smoke and the smell, except for when they started yelling, oh my gosh, the theme of this episode should have been, did no one tell you that they can hear and you need to shh? But again, I have to remember that they're brand new, right? This is the hard part when you've been watching The Walking Dead for years. You've got to know all the tips and tricks now. So when you see people do things that are so elementary, it's like so frustrating. But like I said, they knew this is their first adventure outside the walls. And actually, they've had a lot of, there's been two things that have obviously been helping them. One is that obviously the, the union, the civil, civil union or whatever they're called, they obviously have kept the place around there cleared or fairly clear for them. So they haven't had to deal with a lot. And second is we found out this blaze of glory and also some luck, let's be real. These walkers are pretty old and frail, so that's one of the reasons they're able to dodge and weave them. Except for the painted face walker. That was hilarious that he, like, found them. <laughs> he was like, ah, oh, you thought you lost me. Gotcha. I just think he should be a, a, a running joke throughout the season, personally. Like, I would be down for that. But anyway, I don't think I spoke too much in this episode, but that's really because not too much really happened. This was really very expositionary about Felix and his past. We now know how he ended up with this group and some of the trauma he's had to deal with. But outside of that, outside of actually watching the kids kind of try to figure their way through, there wasn't like a whole lot that happened. Even the whole thing with the Blaze of Glory was kind of muted. And again, I feel like I'm a little jaded because I have watched The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead. So I've seen so much of the craziness that can happen in this show that this really feels watered down. But that's okay. This is a whole new era, so to speak, and things are a lot different for this group. So anyways, I'm trying to take it at face value, but yes, sometimes it is super frustrating to see them make what seems like elementary moves, but I'm trying to keep in my mind that this is their first foray into the wild, as it were, and they're going to make rookie mistakes. Clearly, I think, though, um, Felix and, um, I keep forgetting her name, they're Huck. They're definitely going to catch up with them because they're obviously losing time with this fire navigation thing. But um, yeah, it looks like they might actually get some direction to where they're going, which is the whole point of this season, I guess, is to see whether or not we can make it to New York. And because we know as an audience that they have no home to go back to. So I'm hoping in the next episode, we're going to get a little more information about why the, the union blew up the university, why they decided to take everybody out. And um, yeah, just get a little more insight into that larger plot. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want, want to see more from this geeky face, please go ahead and hit subscribe. Until next time, see ya!